Hey everyone, Jason here. Um, so in this video, I may or may not talk about Russian bootleg games for a long time. Um, and I'll be referencing uh, videos that I saw on the Game Grumps channel. So um, my recommendation is to go over to their channel um, and play those videos. Uh, they have a playlist on them. There's like eight videos. The game I'm referencing, uh, Soviet Jump Game, is already out on Steam, and it is free, so go play it. Uh, yeah, um, but if you don't want to do any of that, just uh, enjoy the video. You don't even have to do that, I guess. Yeah! Oh, wow. Actually, more than hundred bucks in there. Yeah, that was that was way more. My name is Chris Hulahan. It's my top secret room. So the the backstory of the Chris Hulahan, he won a uh, it was like a mail in or something like that from Nintendo Power way back in the day. Like <laughs> fucking Nintendo Power. Yeah, before this game was made, he mailed in like a sweepstakes thing. They announced that he won, and they said he'd be debuted in a game, um, and didn't tell him what game. Or anything they made him his own level in a link to the past <laughs> and it's taken people like years to figure that out that if you because people would look in like source files and realize that like oh there's um there's this room that we can't access and we have to do you know and there's no way to get to it in the real world kind of thing you have to do what we just did kind yeah. of thing you have to trigger it this way yeah yep and then they finally figured it out and realized that that was what it was. But it was like 20 years later, they finally figured it out or some shit. It yeah. was like, what the hell? Speaking of like oddballs from the past, um, I was watching. Uh, I was watching the Game Grumps channel. Yeah. And um, they were talking about uh, it was. Um, you know, the Famcom came out in Japan and then the NES came out in America. Mm -hmm. They were talking about this console that came out in Russia and um, was it Taiwan, I think? That was like a ripoff of the these uh, um, the, those two consoles. It was called like the My Genius, I think. Hmm. Um, and so there and there are a bunch of bootleg games for it. And like um, he was doing like a playthrough of a bunch of these games and like it's it's just ridiculous. One of them was like, I shit you not, it said on the cover of the cartridge and it looks like a, a Game Boy Advance cartridge. And it's like that shape. And it said nine hundred and ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine games in one. <laughs> in this cartridge and it's just like what and uh you go into it you boot it he boots it up and it's got like joust and like track and field and um like galaga and so, some of these but all, but all ripoffs uh, but but all ripoffs and this is the best part so it's this list right and it shows you like 12 games at a time and you just scroll down through them mm -hmm. and you scroll down to like you know, through the 900,000 titles in it and it's those same 12 games listed in different orders over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like it, it was great because he's like Did, was this just to rip off kids like you know you're by you, you're a kid you're excited you take this home and you like I got almost a million games now <laughs> like you boot up like I think like two out of the 12 games worked. <laughs> um, my favorite was the there was a cartridge that was like one of the same things, but it was like a six in one. Mm -hmm. And the games actually worked. Um, did you ever play uh, Adventure Island? I think it was. That's the one where you like you're a little Islander boy, but you can like um, make friends with like the dinosaurs and the dinosaur like would swing its tail and shoot fireballs 
That sounds, I mean, it sounds familiar. I don't. Oh, it was a great NES title. Hmm. Um, well, on this bootleg cartridge, they called it Super Mario 9 and just replaced the Islander Boy. With Mario? With Mario from <laughs> Mario 2. Yeah. And like, they they did that in a, in a bunch of games. They just uh, like, um, shit, they had a Simpsons game on there. Yeah. And it was, they made a Bart Simpson avatar for you and put it in Mario 1. <laughs> so you're just running around Mario 1 as like a crudely colored Bart Simpson. <laughs> Jesus, that's awesome. And you get a mushroom and like you turn into like Bart with different clothes on. <laughs> oh, it was great. So anyway, like throughout this whole thing, he discovers uh, one of the games he tried. Um, it comes up with an error message in Russian and he can't read it. So one of the one of his friends from the U, it, from the Ukraine like could read it and said, oh, yeah, it's just telling you to plug in your Internet adapter. Yeah, that was the same reaction I had. I was like, uh, what? Um, so it turns out there's like these kits you can get and uh, adapters you can get to actually like connect this thing to the Internet Hmm. And so like several videos later, he's he's got it connected to the Internet and this game boots up and from and he finds a trailer for the game. So basically what it is, it is a platformer battle royale game from the Ukraine from the 70s. Damn. Yeah. And uh, so up. sorry to cut you off, but check out my new boomerang. I like it. Does it actually hurt people? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why I was working on getting the damn flippers so I can go talk to the lady so I can get the better boomerang. Nice. <laughs> um, so what they did is they've reached out to one of their friends that uh, likes uh, building servers to host games on. Yeah. And they went through the code and, like, repaired it and they're booting up servers so that people can play this game on Steam. <laughs> and at the end of the video, they're like, go down to the link to blow and sign up for the beta. And I was like, uh, yeah, guess who signed up for the beta? Me. <laughs> so I'm just hoping like I go on Discord one morning and it's like, come on, come play this game because <laughs> it looks fucking just insane. But yeah, like the first battle royale game ever from the, the Ukraine in the 70s. In the 70s. Yeah, it's like the first one in in the world. I didn't want to throw five. You wanted to throw more than that. Wait, did that say pound of happiness? Pond. Oh, pond. How many times do you have to do this? 100. <gasps> Not 100 times. I have to throw in 100 rubies. Rupees. At least I'm pretty sure. Oh, you have just enough. You have just enough. I know. I have one coin left afterwards. Good thing I don't need to buy anything. Now, will it give you the option to throw 20? Even though you don't have 20? Don't do it. Don't do it! <laughs> Just throw five three times, I guess. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to leave? I don't know. Let's try it. Do nice. I don't. <laughs> Just have to ram your head on the, on the happiness <laughs> several times. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Uh, hmm. The oh, bombs. <laughs> 
I wasn't prepared for this life choice. <laughs> Fuck your pond. <laughs> God. What's up? Ah, they're stealing the children! <laughs> uh, I gotta get the bug catching net. <laughs> yeah, the the look on his face is Sorry, always... I was just laughing about that too. Not, not, just, just, not. just like totally Pac-Manning this all his water, like dom dom <laughs> dom dom dom. Ice rod! Rod of ice! <laughs> stick of colding. <laughs> <laughs> stick of colding? Uh, you heard what I said. I know. <laughs> I just kind of, part of me kind of hoped it wasn't said, but. <laughs> <laughs> Wanted that to shatter on his face. I did his too. His stupid duck face. You look like a duck that's taking a shit, and I hate it's it. It's Huzz. Yum, 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 yum. I don't give a fuck about waterfalls. <laughs> yeah, just swim off them. Good thing he didn't notice me. Yeah. Must be the helmets. Must not have, like tunnel vision or something. They must not be able to see very well. You know what's never explained? Hmm. Like in this game, these are all Hylian knights. You know, like, like why are they the bad guys? Well, I mean, they're kind of assuming that like I'm, I stole the princess or whatever the fuck. But like, like I didn't. Is it a, she was imprisoned already? Is it a brainwashing thing? Like, I don't know. Ganon like, mind control? I'm assuming so, but like nobody ever said anything. Yeah. I gotta remember where to get the bug catching net. I actually don't remember. Oh. Da -da -da -da. You can catch stuff with it too. This isn't what I wanted. You ever just. Blow yourself up? Yes. I was, I was gonna say, uh, wonder if Link's the bad guy. <laughs> just just go around stealing everybody's shit. <laughs> like this is this is exactly the tale that a thief would tell. Like, no, no, he was sick, so he gave me his possession. <laughs> so I could go like, you know, he could go like uh, and live vicariously through me in my bug catching adventures cuz I was sick on Death Mountain. You were going to Death Mountain to catch bugs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, to totally. Yeah, definitely, definitely was. Yeah, yeah. Death yeah. Mountain has the best bugs. Yeah. <laughs> There's the death moth and <laughs> the death ant, the death defying mantis, <laughs> death a pillar, death a pillar. Actually, we're gonna fight a death a pillar when we get up there. Um, didn't you fight three death a pillars earlier? No, those were like like centipedes. Those are death apedes. Senna impeding. <laughs> I ain't swallowing no centipede. I ain't swallowing no centipede. <laughs> uh, I'm finally caught up with the season, by the way. Okay. So, I, like, you and Alex were making that reference for like four days. And I was like, <laughs> motherfuckers, like, now I get it. <laughs> I have to pee. Pull over. I'm not pulling over. I have the centipede that eats urine. I ain't swallowing no centipede. <laughs> I'm glad you bought this dungeon to live in, you fucking what, what, asshole. What was Rick's line after that? Like, you're not the clear loser here. Oh, yeah, you're not the loser here. Or something. <laughs> are they uh, are they mid season with that? Yeah. OK, so it's just like five episodes. Like, what the shit? <laughs> yeah, the rest of them are supposed to be done by March, or I think. Yeah, I was so stoked. I went on Xfinity and found out I could stream that show. I was like, fucking rad him. <laughs> K 
Kelly, get on the couch. We're watching this. Yeah, so this dude bought this house in this town because it was used by a bunch of thieves. <laughs> so I'm glad you bought this dungeon because when I go to the dark world, this is a dungeon with monsters in it and well, shit that tries to kill me every time I turn around. The property value is probably super low. Probably got a really good deal on it. Yeah, well, he's an asshole. Might be, might be flipping it. <laughs> you know, he's not flipping. Do you see it, the look on his face? Sell it to a warlord. He doesn't look as a, like as a dungeon. He doesn't look like anybody who's ever had a plan. Way to go, Link. Be super judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got no plan. Got no plan. I'm going to Death Mountain to catch bugs. <laughs> At least that's a plan. <laughs> At least I know what I'm doing today. Yeah. Fuck are you doing standing in your damn? Fuck have you done? Hang on. That overlay is just super distracting. Yeah, it makes it really fucking hard to see, too. Yep, see shit coming out at you. Lost Woods. Donna, 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 Donna. I need this mushroom. My cat was really concerned about my dark uh, Lost Woods song. <laughs>